Meantime, we are exactly three weeks out now from the Bills' first regular season game. They kick off the entire NFL season on the road in LA. And a lot of good news heading into the fall. Number one, Josh Allen is healthy. The Bills looking good, getting ready for preseason game number two this weekend. But besides that, you have this. Chicken wing prices have dropped. Believe it or not, they're now cheaper than they were before the pandemic. The U.S. Department of Agriculture says the average wholesale price for a pound of wings is now $1.68. It's the lowest since 2018. Of course, the price of wings surged during COVID when there was, um, you know, all the supply chain problems. Then there was inflation, and labor shortages. The big question is how long would these prices stay low? And also, will the savings be passed on to customers? We really can't talk about wings here in Western New York without consulting our wing expert, the wing king himself, Drew Serza. Of course, the founder of the National Buffalo Wing Festival, which is coming up Labor Day weekend at Highmark Stadium. Always good to see you, Drew. I wonder, you know, the prices have really just kind of been all over the place. How volatile uh, has the chicken wing price been over the past few years and then what we're seeing now? And, and you know, obviously you deal with the chicken wing festival, but, you know, we eat a lot of wings at restaurants here locally as well. Michael, always a pleasure to be with you. It, chicken wings, you know, chicken is a commodity and it's controlled by the Chicago Mercantile. It's it's kind of like the prime rate. The Mercantile every Wednesday sets a standard price and um, that's what everything goes off of. But it's a it's it's so volatile based on so many factors, staffing issues. There was a, a disaster in Texas that took out a few plants back um, a year and a half ago. But during COVID, chicken wings was like the number one or number two item in each market for takeout during COVID. So wings literally flew. I mean, literally flew. <laughs> and there was a huge demand, lower supply. So prices were through the roof. And then coming out of the pandemic, when people got out more, they weren't eating as many wings. So now there was a bigger supply on the market and, and then a price, uh, price comes down accordingly. But simultaneously, supermarkets were selling a ton of chicken and producers saw that. So they were producing more chickens. And what's that mean? more wings so now there's more of a supply less demand the price keeps coming down so there's so many factors that come into play i know you don't have a crystal ball drew but this is something that you follow so closely for obvious reasons um how long do you think that the chicken wing prices are going to stay this low and and we talked about the timing being good because i imagine we consume more chicken wings um during you know football season and with the wing festival than any other time of year <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's uh, for the wing fest. Unfortunately, I don't benefit from the lower prices because I get a certain particular wing that really that price does not fluctuate much. I just have to have the standard wing that we can cook faster, produce more consistently. But what you're going to see is once fall starts and football kicks in and then the winter sports like the NBA, college basketball, you're going to see the demand come back up you're going to see the price come up. And I, I think the thing, the question about restaurants, restaurants have been taking a beating for a lot of reasons, as we know, uh, not just staffing, but the inflation and all their costs. Chicken wings is such a volatile item. They really have not risen their prices until recently. Their cost of oil has gone from $20 per, per, per jug, which is 35 pounds of fill a fryer to $60 per gallon. So even though they they're making out right now on the wing prices they have been getting hurt it all balances out in the long run i just hope that you know wing restaurants and restaurants keep the pricing consistent where it's at now because i think if they keep the pricing which is a little up from where it was if they keep it consistent in the long run they'll make out because these wing prices are just going to keep coming up and coming down it's been going like this for a decade, Michael, and there is a little market manipulation going on too. Don't think there is a mind scene. <laughs> yeah, no doubt about it. Only in Buffalo do we do a full segment on the price of chicken wings, but uh, yeah. for good reason. People are interested in it. Hey, again, just want to remind everybody, uh, Highmark Stadium, Labor Day weekend, the National Buffalo Wing Festival. Drew, I know it's a busy time for you. We appreciate you coming on and helping us understand this. Thanks for having me. Eat those wings, people. Oh, yeah. I might have some tonight. <laughs>